Since COVID-19 arrived in the U.S. in March 2020, many people have gotten back into the remote control car hobby. Kobe Bennett has been involved in this hobby for most of his life. Me and my buddy first got into RC cars probably when we were around nine years old. Um, it was always a good time. We were out day and night driving them, taking them off-road, on-road, braking them, fixing them. It was kind of nice back then because we never had to pay for anything. Our dads always took us to the local store to get parts for it <clears throat> and it kind of died off when we turned 16 and started driving. Kobe Bennett noticed his friends buying remote control cars during COVID-19 and he decided to get back into the hobby. I actually got back into it because a few buddies at work got theirs up and running or got new ones and I figured it'd probably be a good time to sell my two old ones due to the fact that people were driving them more since COVID. And once I sold those, I went and bought myself a new one, which was actually decently hard to find because they were sold out everywhere. And ever since then, we've been taking them out after work a few times a week and finding a good place to run them and jump them around and break them and fix them. Daniel Schmidt, a Hobbytown employee, saw a large increase in the demand for remote control cars. Our primary seller was, um, well, we sold a lot of puzzles and then we sold a ton of RC cars. Uh, just because that's something that you can do um, while you're socially distanced. During that whole time, we really sold a ton of RC cars. There was actually one time where we were completely out of all of our higher end RC cars. Uh, we normally carry somewhere in the neighborhood of 75 to 100 cars in stock uh, and there was um, a weekend where we sold everything. COVID-19 striking the U.S. in March of 2020 caused a significant increase of people joining and returning to the remote control car hobby. Reporting for Nebraska News Service, I'm Tyler Burkle.